Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I have an out of the box experience for you guys and this one is, I believe, from Everyday E-Crafts. Now I've opened a few things from Everyday E-Crafts and I was offered again by, via email to have a look at some more of their newer products. So I've picked a couple of things out and we're going to go through them together and check them out. So there's a couple of little different things in this bag today. So let's open her up and check it all out. So I've got my trusty scissors and I've even got my handy dandy little measuring tape just in case I need that as well. And we're going to have a look at these products. They're a little bit different. So hopefully we enjoy looking at them together. All right. Snip the bag. So how is everyone today? I hope everyone's having a really great day, whatever you're doing and wherever you are. And we're going to check out some cool products from Everyday E-Crafts. So I've been getting quite a few, look at this, this is so tiny. I've been getting quite a few different things from um, Everyday E-Crafts and so far I've been enjoying their kits. Haven't had too much of an issue, so voila. We got some more to check out today. So I've got a very odd shaped little fellow there. I've got this one and another little odd shape. So there we go. Two little ones and one more usual shape, I suppose you could say, for this experience today. So yeah, some new things out on the website. So I will link the website and these products all in the description box for you guys. So check them all out. All right, these are the ones I'm going to put aside because this is a bit more uh, what we're expecting. So uh, Everyday E-Crafts has quite a few diamond paintings, diamond crafts, and I believe cross stitch, etc. as well, if you would like that. Now, I'm thinking about the cross stitch situation at the moment. So this one here popped up on the website and I just thought it just caught the eye. You know, it looked really cool. I want to check it out. And it's an interesting size and shape, in a sense. That is a 40 by 40. I'll measure that up. It is partial. And it's just a nice, quick, little partial special drill. So we're going to check it out. There is your toolkit. So it's just your basic, nothing special there. My gemstones. And beautiful canvas. Now it's a little bit folded and it will need a little bit of settling but once it does that it should be good hopefully. So I'll show you an image while I just try and straighten this one out a little bit and you can see it's quite different it's just very pretty delicate thing and I thought, you know, it looked really nice. And I've got a couple of 40 by 40 frames sitting around the house. So I just felt that it was a good one for me to check out. And it's very pretty. All right, how are we going? Still going, eh? All right. Give it a bit of a roll. Okay, I think I've got it settled down to a degree. It's shining crazily, but with that plastic and my lights. But there you go, there it is. It's a 40 by 40 partial drill. It's a beautiful crescent moon with all these beautiful gemstones and crystals and so forth sort of intertwining and lacing themselves around. Well, I've got some beautiful stars in the background. So it's a very pretty, um, I don't know what sort of theme you call it, but it just took the eye. And it's got 10 colours and also very, all very nice looking special drill shapes there. Some really big ones and we're going to check all that out together. Come on down and have a look. There we go, nice and close to the canvas. So you can have a look at that uh, area you're drilling. Is through here in the moon. It's, it's sort of got a lacy feel to it and you know, these chains and things. 
So these are sort of big crystals, but we've got fine crystals drills to put on. Some nice big ones as well. Some star shapes. Lots of intricate little patterns and that through the moon. It's quite pretty. I think, yeah, so you've got these ones here, the little green ones and that. They're like little those little teardrop um, gems. And I've got some up arrows here and some blue half circles. So that lots and lots to drill there. It'll be a very quick project in one sense, but I still have, a, um, I think, a satisfying amount to do on it. I'm glad the background's not drilled because it's just black and I don't really want to do that. Let's take that away. And you can see I've got some nice poor area of glue. Catching the light there. There we go. Put the little cover on. Put the little cover back on. Over here in the top right hand corner, I have a key. There we are. So it's got 10 colors in total for this image. DMC codes, etc. on your right hand side, symbols in the center, and left hand side is your number of drills. There we go. Very nice and easy to read. Um, I'll just get rid of that plastic. You can see there's quite a few different, like the star shapes, different sizes there some different sort of other shapes, teardrops and so forth. And then so you just stand around. We'll have a look at all these cool drills. Across the top, I just have the size that says 40 by 40 inch item code. So no actual thumbnail, but I do have another chart down on the bottom left. So there we go. That is the canvas as it is. And the drill field looks nice and clear. I don't think I'd have too many issues or too many strange looking things in there. It's going to be interesting what this looks like. Very different, different shape, different size and lots of different patterns going on this uh, canvas. So looking cool, looking very cool. All right, so it's a little bit uh, wrinkly stiff, but Hopefully uh, I can either put it under some books for a while and see how it goes. If not, you could probably give this a light iron if you're very, very careful. And don't use the plastic, of course. Okay, I'm just going to pop him down there. This is the drills that you receive for this one. So you can see I've got some smaller ones and some bigger ones in there. See if I can open this and we'll have a closer look. That's very sticky. Okay, so number five has come loose in one of these bags with a big number on it. And there's a little fine teardrops, which was that little green symbol you saw. So that's five. I'll just pop them down there. The rest of it is in a strip form. And we'll go and have a look at those. So we're starting number one and we just have a product code on here. And then we have that uh, diamond brand where it's got that, you know, crisscross diamond, diamond shape writing. So we'll be starting at number one. And I'll just go this way, I think, across. That's better. So starting at number one, I'm going to start from across, going across like this. So I've got some purples. That's number two. So there is a little bit difference between these two purples. I have a beautiful yellow. So we're all looking at beautiful gemstone drills. So A, Bs as well, a beautiful yellow AB. That's got some nice shine to it. 
I have a beautiful red um, marquee that's number six. Beautiful and shiny. The backs look nice and clean too. Here we have uh, number seven and it's a beautiful blue AB coated and it's a smooth teardrop. Some big ones of those. Again, they look nice. I have some stars. I have some beautiful gold stars and a silver star as well. So we've got two different colors in the stars. And number 10 is this really big um, golden dome and they are huge. They are about 10, 12 mils at least I say. And I've got five of those and they look pretty good as well. So that will go into those big gems hanging down off the moon. Pretty cool aren't they? Nice. Look at that beautiful AB. Some really pretty drills and don't forget number five is this guy. So there you go. That is all the ten colours. Lots and lots of different special drills. This will look awesome. Looking forward to doing that one up. So that is one I'm going to show you from Everyday E-Crafts just the canvas. The others are these other little packets and I wanted to show you some of these because I thought these look kind of cool and there's quite a few different designs in these too. So, so if you don't like these particular ones I picked out there is uh, a quite a few others as well but I thought they were a cute little novelty idea and a fun craft to work on and I think they'll be even just fun to use as well. So there you go lots of little hints there going on. So in the packet I have a tool kit. So this one has some tweezers, just your plastic um, basic ones, a pink pen, wax and tray. Then what else have I got in here? I got some drills. You can see the special drills. Voila! <laughs> so here it is. It is a spinner. Yes, you can diamond paint a spin toy. So I've got basically, it's got a ridge pattern cut edge. Um, it looks like it's acrylic or resin. It's got a bit of stick to it. And I am going to figure it out, but I think you can peel this off. And you get to drill. see what we got here. All right, let's have a bit closer look at this. Let's have a look at some of the features of it, if we can. Here we go. So we're looking at maybe a plastic or resin. It's got some ridges along here. It's like a pattern. You've got your little plastic center where you hold it and it's dipped for your fingers. We have, hopefully, you got your drilling field. So you got no charting or anything or key, of course. You just go from what you can see on the actual uh, spinner. We got letters, numbers. Well, we've got letters. We've got sticky on that side. And we've got sticky on this side as well. So there we go. So both sides you drill. And it's the same pattern. There we go. So that's a really cool little um, fun project that you know, you can either make up for the kids or you can have the kids do with you. So nice and clear, all this image of the drilling area. Nice bright colours. So yeah, isn't that a cool little idea? And these are quite big as well. So I'll just quickly measure that. So 
you know, it's about nearly eight and a bit, basically, eight and a half uh, centimeters wide. So they're, they're a good size spinner. Cool, eh? All right, let's have a look what drills we've got in here for this one. So the drills are as such packaged in your blue strip. We'll have a gander at those, maybe. Here we go, where are we? Right. So, this will tell me I have 10 colors in total. And we've got all sorts of colors in here. So these are all the rhinestones. So how good's that? Well, here we go. We'll start with number one. And we've got rhinestones and we're starting with a red, blue, green, yellows, some nice hot pinks, and some darker blues, and this really lovely sea blue, a nice amber, and a beautiful crystal silver. And that gives us our 10 colors for this one. Wow! So you have 10 colors on there. So that's that spinner and those drills. Awesome! All right, but I have one more to show you. So I think you can guess what will be in this packet as well. So as I said, they do have a few of these designs. Snip, snip. Oops. And I thought these would be a lot of fun. They could be cute little, uh, easy, quick project. Again, I've got the same tool kit with the, the tweezers, pen, boat, and wax. And this one is a little different. So I've got my drills again. But this one is an emoji symbols. So it's got a different shape where the other one had more of a, a starry sort of flower look. I should say more of a flower look. This one's actually got the more traditional looking shape and inside each uh, quarter is a different emoji. So there you go. So I've got, I don't know which ones are which, but I've got a winky face and a... What's one with the hearts? So I've got that one. He's got like the little, hey, and I'm not sure about this guy, but anyway, they are the same on both sides. Same plasticky sort of uh, center hold. And they spin really freely. And quite some time. Again, it's the same sort of uh, plastic cut. This one is a more of a smoother edge, although it's still not real smooth. You can definitely feel the glue. It's very sticky, poor. And you drill both sides. Your drilling field, as you can see, is very clear. And you've got some really nice big ones as well. So this is just a little bit different, but it's all the same principle as the spin as the other one. And they work really well. They're quite thick, they're good size, and yeah, there we go. So that's a little bit different style. So you've got a couple of the emoji ones and a few of the like flower ones, different shapes and, but I'll link these guys and um, the website down below and you can go check out the others as well. All right, so let's put this guy to the side real quick. And I'll just show you the drills to that particular piece. Not many drills in these packets, as you'd imagine, because there's not a big area to drill, but that'd be a fun project. Okie dokie. Right, so I've got a separate bag there just for these big guys. There's a lot in there. What have I got? I've got four on each side. So four on each side for those. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of those by looks of it in there. 
That's the number four. They're cool, those big marquees, aren't they? And I have got just four, no, three others. So this one technically only has um, very minimal colours. Is three. I have the yellow, the silver and the red. But there's not a lot going on, I guess, in this design. So you don't need it. So that's really literally, I think, probably the most smallest uh, number of jewels to a kit I've ever had. So that's four. Three of your rhinestones and one special drill. So there you go. That's all in that one. So that's the whole kit and caboodle, basically. Voila. So these are a lot of fun. Um, I thought they would be a really interesting little project to play with and, you know, have a bit of a look and show you guys. So this is another little fun uh, idea you can get from Everyday E-Crafts. Go check them out. All right, so that's it for this unboxing. I've got those couple of spinners and this really lovely uh, special drill. So I might just pop that on top of there. So they are the products I've um, unboxed for you guys from Everyday E-Crafts. So check out the webpage down below in the description box. Have a look at some of the new products they've got on the website. We Those are the products um, I've unboxed today from Everyday E-Crafts. Check them out. All the links are in the description box down below. Have some fun guys. Go check out some of the new products they've got there. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Take care, be well, and be your life beautiful. We're Diamond Art. This is Del signing out. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.